designed to showcase the talented women who make up the Web3 ecosystem. Women in Web3 champions exceptional leaders across the international sector and the amazing sustainable work they do by spotlighting the progress, impact and innovation of talented women in Web3. This list hopes to inspire a new generation of diverse workers to join the emerging field and help shape the future of the web. So when I came into the industry, as I said, in 2017, I saw these incredible women. Uh, I was like, nobody needs, you know, these women are so amazing, they don't need any help, right? But I thought I would better ask. Uh, and I said, as women in this industry, do you feel as though it would be good to have support as a woman? Actually, the answer was yes. The answer was yes, because if you're on stage as a legal profession, you can meet other women in the space, but actually cross meeting in terms of industry, founders, developers, marketers, whatever it might be, they found that more difficult. And Bigger Pie is very proud of that. And, and that's what we're about. And unless we start investing in the female founders who could be the next you know, role model for CEOs and tech founders, um, then we're not, we're not going to go anywhere. It's also proven that female founders are much better in their gender diversity and hiring and, and, and promoting and having senior levels. So the 200 billion club was then designed to say, why are women not getting this funding? What can we do about it? And, and we work very hard in making sure that we have VC partners who are excited about the right deal flow and then making sure our accelerator program is tailored to not just what you need to say to a VC to be VC investable and what business models, et cetera, that you need, but also what additional tools you need to have in your box as an underrepresented founder, because you'll be asked questions in a different way that you need to be able to answer uh, in a way that makes them excited about you. It feels really good, if I'm honest with you. I have been in the space since 2017, um, recognized what the potential of this technology could do. Saw that we had too many, not enough women, let's say, not enough women in the space. Um, and the women in the space are amazing. They are highly educated, speak multiple languages, career histories that are amazing, um, and had a vision of what they wanted to build. So I used to be uh, an independent financial advisor, and then I had my son. I, when I was a financial advisor, was in North Norfolk, which is a very rural area. Um, and when I went there, they said, oh, what do you want to do? And I sort of said, this is what I was doing before. And they offered me a job at half of the salary I was on. And I had to do a 50 mile commute. And I was like, that's not what I want. So they said, do you want to sell finance? I went, I don't know what it is. Uh, and then, so I sort of made that up as I went along in terms of the career path. And then when I became a parent, I really had to sort of make stuff up as I went along, I wasn't able to continue in that role. Um, I won't go into that for now. Um, and then since then, I've been making shit up as I go along, to be honest with you. Um, more women, more people of all sorts of expertise, um, all sorts of problems. I have no idea what it's like to live in various other areas of the world and what problems they face, what financial problems they face, uh, what difficulties they face in terms of wh whatever it might be. Um, and so every time we exclude a huge amount and swathe of those population, then you're building from your experience, not from a, a larger experience. So the problem that you're trying to solve is more narrowed in its focus. You're excluding a whole bunch of potential customers or clients, depending you know, how you want to define them. Um, and so that's where I really feel as though that's, that's a huge thing. I mean, women, as I say, are half of the population so they definitely have lots of experiences across different ages, across different um, experiences, that that's what we're missing out on. We also know that women uh, tend to take less risk compared to a man. I mean, I have another conversation about that, but we don't have time to go into that. And so I've seen too many high risk um, projects that might have risen the wave, but didn't have any longevity and that without having a rounded team, including women's perspectives and, and their stabling uh, and more robust thinking. Uh, it's any, any time you have group thinking, right? So if you exclude a whole bunch of other people with experiences, then it's gonna be um, lacking in what it can do. Don't be overwhelmed. Everyone's overwhelmed. This is a great space to come in because everyone's making shit up as they go along. <laughs> like this is not a 20 year, we know exactly what's going on. We have best practices. Right, so don't worry about the fact that you're coming in and you don't know everything because nobody does. It moves too quickly. 
Do you understand that there are plenty, there are so many, so many women in kind of, you know, femme, uh, gen, gen, uh, gender minority communities that are there to support you and they are across the globe. So the bigger pie is only one of very many. We have focuses based on your interests, whether it's arts and the keys, whether it's being a developer, you know, whether it's, you, you're new to the industry, whether you're looking to be a founder, whether whatever, you might not be able to find them initially, feel free to reach out to me if you listen to this and I will invite you into the big pie and share with you all of the other communities that you have. Don't be overwhelmed, do speak up and without you, we are not going to build the future that we want to see.